uh, attending conferences is so nerve-wracking <laughs> for an uh, introvert. And so many authors are introverts. And that's one of the things that I keep in mind. Something I have learned a long time ago has been very beneficial. When I go into a conference, I think of myself as an ambassador of sorts. I, I give myself a job, and my job is to find other people who are just as uncomfortable, smile at them, and they generally almost always smile back. It's a relief that somebody is smiling at them, and that breaks the ice. And I can usually start a conversation. And in a writing conference, it's great. You know, what genre do you write in? It's, it's a question that is appropriate every single time you meet somebody. And it breaks the ice. And then once that happens, and this is usually while you're waiting for a workshop, not necessarily in the networking times. So that I do that throughout the day. So then when we get into the networking uh, cocktail parties and dinners, I've already made some contacts and people that I feel comfortable going up and talking to. I, I've been on many panels at writers' conferences, and I've spoken at the uh, World CBD Expo on stage uh, talking about CBD and anxiety. And it is nerve-wracking. It is scary. There is no real... I prepare by trying to know my subject well. And, and then it's practice. It's one of those things that you really just have to do again and again until it starts to feel somewhat comfortable. There's always the nerves, but it's experience. And the first couple times may not be that great, but that's okay. It's a learning experience.